Okay, here we are. I just got my new Praxis Works Bicycle Components cassette. This is an 1140 cassette, and this is going to give me a broader range of gears so I can climb the steepest climbs and still have the top end speed I need on the fast, fast downhills. Let's unbox this bad boy. Woohoo! There it is in all its glory. That is the new Praxis 1140 wide range cassette. Looks to be beautifully constructed here. You notice the first eight gears are stamped steel, and then the the top um, two largest gears are going to be made out of 7075 T6 aluminum. Some really good ramp construction there. You see the nice CNC machining. Really looking forward to getting this bad boy installed on the bike and seeing how it performs. And uh, one of these uh, the claims here is this, this is going to be really easy to install. So let's see how this holds up in the real world. Okay, just a few simple tools to get this uh, bad boy installed. We got the Park FR5G tool, an adjustable wrench, and a chain whip. This is my uh, trusty chain whip. This thing's... Okay, let's remove the rear wheel. This is the Project 321 Stands No Flow rear wheel set. And uh, I'm going to take this axle off. You want to make sure your, your, can't, your lock on the, on the driller is off. Um, so now we've got this off and ready to remove the cassette. Okay, we're going to remove the cassette now with the Park FR5G using your chain whip. And then take that off like so. Let's bring the rest up to the top here. Okay. So now that we got the old cassette off, we're going to put on the new practice wide range cassette. So here we're looking for the, the broader spacer and it's uh, wider right here as well. If you notice that. So that's what you're looking for, make sure it's on snugly, nice and snug, there's the bigger part there. And line that up, right there, the center one. And then you got some small range gears and be sure to keep your spacers on there as well. It's actually marked with a nice little, uh, little circle stamp right there, so that'll guide your eye to where that wide spacer is. Right spaces, right? And then uh, just keep going. Look for that circle, there it is. Put it on, there's the spacer. And then there's the circle. Put it on, and almost there. Put it on, and the last one. There you go. And then get your lock ring. And uh, make sure that you don't cross thread it. Should be a nice, easy hand tighten. And then you get your uh, chain whip and your adjustable wrench. So you actually don't really need the chain whip at this point because you're not going reverse. So about 30 foot pounds of torque. Actually, I think it's stamped right on there, what they recommend, but 40 nanometers. There you go, it's all installed, ready to go. Let's put it on the bike. All right, now we're just gonna install the rear wheel again. I always like to put the gear on the highest gear and make sure that your your lock is off so you can swing the rail, derailleur back if you need to, to get it installed. Make sure that the disc is falling right in between. And then uh, get your skewer, pop that in, and we'll thread that in. This is not a quick release because it's uh, the stiffer mechanism. So get that back installed here. Okay, now that's tight. Now what we want to do is check to see if it'll shift all the way through and what we're going to have to do is adjust the V tension so the derailleur wheel doesn't roll on the biggest cog in the back and right now it's actually not rubbing so we're looking pretty good right off the bat take a closer close up right here you notice there it's not rubbing um, actually right there focus focus on that part 
there. There you go. And we don't see that wheel rubbing on top of the other wheel. So we're good to go. All right, we're gonna roll through the gears now to make sure everything's shifting properly. So on the 10th speed right now, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No skipping, so let's see how this works on the trail. Ready to roll, that was easy. Okay, we're on 10th gear, nine, eight, So there you have it, a nice, clean, super easy install of the Praxis Works 1140 cassette. And I'm pretty happy with the initial results here, just testing it out on the street. The shifts were clean and crisp, um, so th I feel like this is going to give me the range that I need. I've changed the sprocket up front, the chain ring up front, to a 32 tooth, and then uh, with that combined with the 1140 tooth in the back, I feel it's going to give me the range that I need to be able to climb Sulphur Trail at Santa Cruz demonstration for us tomorrow. So really the real test is going to be tomorrow on the trails. Looking forward to putting this thing through its paces. And uh, just want to thank you for tuning in to Bikes, Beer, and Grub. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a holler, post that online, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And uh, remember, hashtag just add praxis.